Hi, this is Shannon with Scrapbooking Dreams. I'm really excited. I just got home with a brand new camera, so I'm hoping that my videos are going to be a lot nicer than the ones before. Um, I'm going to be showing you just a cute, simple card. We're starting off just with some blue cardstock here. It's just out of one of those cheap packs from Michaels. Um, you know where you get the 50 sheets for like $1.99 and then I'm just using some white and then this paper is from the die cuts with a view summer stack we're just gonna be doing some fun stuff so let's go ahead and start with the card base just gonna fold this over use my bone folder to score it okay Now, I have this cute stamp set that I bought here from Inka Dinka Do. It's just some different dotted flourishes. And I just realized that I didn't bring a big enough acrylic block over here with me, so we're going to have to make do here. These videos are harder to make than one would think. Alright. I'm just going to pull this one off. I was going to use one of the bigger ones, but since I didn't bring the right size block over, we're going to make do with this one. Alright, I'm going to use some Star Spangled Blue ink. This is from Close to My Heart. I used to be a consultant a long time ago. I don't even know if this is still a current color or not. So if it's not, sorry. And what I'm going to do here is just put a piece of scrap paper under here because I'm going to stamp off the edges. So I'm just going to randomly stamp this flourish stamp all around. Ooh, it's a lot of fun. I thought this set looked really cute and I couldn't wait to get home and try it. There are some fantastic sales going on right now at Michael's. Not to enable you, but had a lot of fun there this afternoon. Okay, so just a couple quick little flourishes. Let's see, I didn't really leave room right there. Let's add one more. Okay, let's go ahead and set that aside. Move my scrap paper. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to put a piece of white underneath here, and I'm going to use my Fiskars Scalloped Punch Border. Border Punch. So let's see, I'm going to do this real quick, hopefully, Ooh, it's harder to do on camera, it's giving me a hard time, alright, we're getting there, almost there. Let's see, okay, almost all the way, alright, oh my goodness, I thought I had it all the way, should have done this part probably before the video, sorry. Definitely need to work on my punching quickly abilities here. That's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and punch both sides of it. I just think that'll turn out cute. Normally I don't. Normally I just pick one side and punch. But we'll see how this turns out. Now see, I hate when that happens. I got a piece of paper stuck in my punch. Everything that can go wrong on this video, I guess, is going to go wrong. Alright. Now I just have a big mess going on. Okay. Almost done with the punching. There we go. Woo! Didn't know if that was going to happen. This video might make it onto my blooper reel. Okay, 
we're just going to go ahead and lay this across here. So I'm just going to get out some tape. I have an ATG gun that I like to use, but I'm just trying to use up these old tapes that I had bought from Walmart. They work really good, and they're a good price. It's just I was enabled to buy an ATG gun and fell in love with it. All right, and then right over the top of that, we're going to go ahead and put this down. So let's add some tape to that. So we'll stick that right across here. And actually, I'm sorry, before I do that, I wanted to add some ribbon. I just have some white satin ribbon here. So I'm just going to measure a little bit. And I'm going to just lay my paper over here. I'm going to add a little bit of sticky tape. And we're just going to stick the ribbon down before I stick it to the card. Okay, I'm just going to add some tape over that ribbon to help hold it down. Now we're ready to put that on the card. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to use a couple small pieces here to tie some bows. And I'm just going to do it a real quick, easy way. Just wrap it around. double knot it. Probably could have cut my ribbon a little bit longer so I had more to work with, but it'll have to do. Alright, there's the first little one. And let's go ahead and add one more. Now I would stamp this with some sort of sentiment, but all of my stamps are in a huge mess right now. If you'll see on another post on my blog, I'm trying to get the rest of them unmounted, and I just really can't find my sentiment stamps. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the ends here. Move my little bows how I want them. And there you go, it's just a plain, simple little note card. You know, if I wanted, I could have stamped less down here and then just put a little sentiment, sentiment sorry, in the corner. Um, but, you know, like this, I can just go ahead and use it as an everyday note card. It could be, you know, just a how you doing card, whatever. So there you go. That's my video for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.